Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave, and this is the quick video on how I drill gemstones using rotary tool diamond burrs. This particular pack cost me $6, it's a 30 piece, I got it from the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. You can get them all over the internet. This is 80 grit, I don't use anything coarser or anything finer, and I only use two kinds of burrs. I use rounded burrs, like this one and cylinder burrs, like this one. I don't use pointed burrs because they can be kind of dangerous and they just don't work very well. I use cylinder burrs because they're coated on the side and uh, they're a little bit flat on top which actually does the pulverizing and the drilling. Um, the size of your rounded burr will govern the size of your hole using this technique. I start using the rounded burr. I'm using a drinking water container to drip on my stone. I don't want to flow too much, but I don't want too little. I mark the stone a little bit because it helps. This is a piece of petrified bogwood. It's very tough. Alright, I'm going less than halfway. I'm going less than halfway. It's okay that I missed a bit. That uh, marking wasn't 100% in the center anyway. So um, I go less than halfway again, and then I switch burrs to the cylinders, to the cylinder burrs. Burr. Alrighty, here's my cylinder. There it is. And this is the burr that I actually use to go through the whole stone. I'm going to place the burr inside the uh, divot before I turn it on. And I'm going to apply a light pressure, making sure not to have my fingers behind where the hole is going to come out of. Don't push too hard. Let the diamond do the cutting. Eventually, you'll feel, um, you'll get a feeling for the diamond cutting. I can feel it cutting right now. Alrighty. You really don't want it to stop like that. I was rushing, I guess. You want it to be spinning when it pops all the way through. If you notice, um, this, this is the side that I started with. Uh, the hole I started with is a lot wider than the hole I drilled with. This is because I knew the stone was going to blow out, and since I drilled with a smaller burr, um, I, when I come back with the uh, larger burr and I ream the other side, it will not only make the hole larger, but it'll clean up any blowout that um, is there. There's just a little tiny bit. I don't know if you can tell. It's on the, yeah, right there on the bottom. Anything that I can't get um, by reaming, which is pretty rare, I can uh, get while I'm grinding on my lapidary machine when I finish the bead. I try to drill everything at about 400 grit or less. This way I can uh, make up for mistakes. For whatever reason, if I ever miss a line or uh, miss center of the hole, I can always grind the side of the bead to make it center again. I wouldn't want to attempt to grind the bead to make the whole center again if I was already at like 3,000 grit. That would be a big waste of time, but there we go. So I start with the rounded burr. Just leave a, d a dent less than halfway. Switch to the cylinder, drill it through. Um, switch back to the rounded burr and ream the side that I didn't start on. And that's how I drill gemstones using really affordable and cheap diamond rotary tools. Hope it was informative. Uh, yeah. Love you folks. See you next time.